Amen. 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 He says, Woe to you hypocritical toward teachers mm -hmm. and Pharisees. You go about over land and sea to make one proselyte. And when you succeed, you make him twice as fit for Gilgenon as you are. He said, when you get through, when you succeed, but mess up the people's mind, you make him twice as fit for hell. Mm -hmm. Amen. You make him as you are. About to say, doing the same See. thing. Mm -hmm. See, people go around, they're going, Oh, I'm in church. My pastor said this. My pastor said this. Baby. What did God say? God. Huh? What does the Bible say? What does the Torah say? Amen. See, you turn the people against the Torah, against the Bible. Say, Well, you don't have to do all of this. No, that's wrong. How is the Torah, the Word of God, wrong? It ain't wrong. There's nothing wrong in the Torah. Amen. Nothing wrong in the word of God. Wrong. What's wrong is wrong is the teachers. That's right. What's wrong are the apostles and the chief apostles that are teaching the wrong teachings. Mm -hmm. Amen. They don't agree or line up with the word of God. Said they hold it, but dying okay. well, they want to justify their sins. They want to make themselves look good. Yes, yeah, it's uh, it's an evil. Amen. You got people changing the word of God. Amen. To make themselves look like they, hey, I got such a connection with God. I'm so holy. I'm so righteous. I got, I got this great connection with God. The Bible was wrong. No, it's not. Oh, no. It wasn't, it wasn't 50. It's just 49. One had to escape. But the Bible said different. It said 51. It said with 1 plus the 50. They went up to the man of God to bring him down. Now, uh, you can't you can't change the word of God. Amen. Now we all make mistakes sometimes when delivering the word of God. But once we find out that we make mistakes, we got to do what we got to repent. Say, hey, look, I made a mistake. Get it right. And get it right. Amen. Get it right. See. But people are more concerned about their appearance on how they appear to people and how they appear to others than they are about how we appear to you sure how we appear before God. See, my concern is about how do I appear before God? I'm not concerned about how I appear before you. How do I appear before God? How do I how do I appear before you sure? Amen. So when I look in this mirror. I got to line up with what this mirror says, with what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can't go up there and say, well, you know, uh, that's all right. The mirror is wrong, and I'm right. The mirror says I look nasty, I look sinful, but no, in my head, oh, I look good. I smell good. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. The Word is right. Oh, okay. See, we look nasty. We smell nasty. Mm -hmm. We stink. We're, we're a filthy rag. Even in our so-called righteous state, we're still nothing but a filthy rag in the eyesight of the sure. So I see it. So we got to be what? Cleansed. We got to be cleansed even more. Our hearts got to be made what? More pure. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have to be what? Totally cleansed before we come before you sure. Amen. Can't you can't go up there and be patting yourself on the back thinking that, oh, I'm so holy, I'm so righteous. Now I know a lot of preachers don't like that or hear that, but it's the truth anyhow. Because mm -hmm. they want to have that pious appearance. What good is it to appear to be pious, to be appear to be holy, mm -hmm. and still end up in hell? No, it's so hell. I see. I mean. See, I made, I made, I know I made a vow to the Lord to obey all his words. 
to obey all this truth. I don't have to constantly ask him to help me, to cleanse me, to purge me, so I can keep the Bible. I gotta be what totally cleansed. I can't do everything and get satisfied. Well, I'm not committing fornication. I'm not committing adultery. I'm not, I can't be satisfied with just that. Amen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, be, what, eat the whole roll. I gotta be no. totally clean. I gotta be totally purged, amen. Mm -hmm. I can't go up there uh, pat myself on the back because I don't commit adultery or, uh, you know, I'm not committing fornication. I'm not committing homosexuality. I can't pat myself on the back like that. Mm -hmm. Amen. I got to what be doing the whole road, and whole even road. and then even when I get to do the whole road, I still can't pat myself on the back because it will not be me that doing it. It'll be nobody but you, sure, who's on the inside of me that's living the life. Amen. Amen. And it will be him. See. That's why Yeshua was walking here on the earth, turning everything over to God. God did it. Yeshua did it. The Father did it. The Father did it. And then I did it. Uh-uh. See? When, when Yeshua healed, healed the blind men and stuff like that, and they came to him, he said, now go and do what? He didn't say, uh, come back and thank me when you see, you can see, and stuff like that. He didn't say, come back and thank me. He said, go and do as, the, as Moses told you to do in the Torah. Give, you sure to thank, give him the offering that he so deserves. He didn't try to take credit for himself. Give him the glory. He said, give God the glory. Give you sure the glory. I mean, give Abiyah, Yahweh the glory. Amen? Give the Father the glory. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> he says, Woe to you hypocritical toward teachers and Pharisees. You go about overlaying a seat to make one proselyte, and when you succeed, you make him twice as fit for Gil Hennon as you are. Woe to you, you blind guides. You say, if someone swears by the temple, he is not bound by his oath. But he swears by the gold in the temple, he is bound. See, people say, well, you know, if you swear by your money, you're bound. But if you swear by the temple, you're not bound. See, people have what? Made what? Gold or money to God. And so they say, well, hey, you say, hey, uh, uh, make an oath of your money, you're bound by that oath. You give up that money. You made, a, you made a vow, but if you vow by the word of God, you're not. What kind of sense does that make? And this is what the statement that you should is stating right here. He says, you blind fools, what he call fools, when you think that way. He says, which is more important, the gold? Or the temple which makes the gold holy. You know, is it the money or that that can make something holy? Well, it's got to be the temple. Amen. Amen. That makes it what holy. Mm -hmm. That guy that holds more, you know, power than the money. More authority than the money. Amen. You see, but people get greedy about the money. Amen. You know, they get hungry for the money. Show sure Amen. And thank you, Lord. He says, And you say, If someone swears by the altar, he's not bound by his oath. But if he swears by the offering on the altar, he is bound. Blind men, which is more important? The sacrifice or the altar which makes the sacrifice holy. See, if you bring it upon the altar, it makes it holy. But if it just stays out there, then it's just another piece of meat. Just another offer. It's the altar. Because the altar has been both dedicated and purified by the Riyadh, by the Holy Spirit, by God, by the power and authority of God to make something holy. It's a transfer of power. 
Amen. And until the offering gets to the altar, it's not holy. Amen. It's not holy until the altar makes it holy, until it touches the altar. Amen. Amen. And it's offered up in holiness and righteousness. Amen. So you you have your offering there and you you have not put it on the altar, it's not holy then. Amen. Amen. That's like the tithes and offering. See, the tithes and offering, while it's still in your pocket, it's not holy. It's not become a holy thing yet. Amen. It's not well in righteousness because it has not been what? It's not been purified by the altar. But when you bring your offerings up and then it's been prayed on, then it's made what? Holy. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the altar was offered up to God. It was offered up to who? God. God. Sure. Amen. Mm -hmm. Which makes it what? Holy. holy. Then. But as long as it's still in your pocket and your bank account, not it's not holy. Amen. Until it's offered up to God, then that's when it's what? Made holy. Thank you, Yeshua. He says, and someone who swears by the altar swears by it and everything on it. And someone who swears by the temple swears by it and the one who lives in it. And someone who swears by heaven swears by God's throne and the one who sits on it. See, we, we have to praise the one who, who it belongs to. We give offering to the one who it belongs to. Mm -hmm. We put our faith into the one who it belongs to. Thank you, Lord. He says, Woe to you hypocritical Torah teachers and Pharisees. You pay your tithes of men, deal, and coming. But you have neglected the weightier matters of the Torah. Justice, mercy, trust. These are the things you should have attended to without neglecting the other. Blind guides. Straining out a goat, a gnat. Meanwhile, swallowing a camel. You, 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 you're choking, you're straining on a gnat, a little bug. But you're swallowing the camel. Mm -hmm. My God. Amen. My God. Amen. You know, I, I, I've seen and heard preachers, you know, uh, uh, talk about the Lord's Supper. Amen. About the cups. <clears throat> At the time, of you sure they were able to go ahead on it was 12 of them there 11, yeah, 12 of them there amen 13 all together be sure amen and they were able to go ahead on and to drink out of one cup god you sure but what well, people don't understand you sure was there jesus did okay and see he was what capable of purifying the cup for nobody would get sick behind it no see there was no filthiness they weren't out there doing Walking in sin, doing anything nasty or anything like that, amen. And you sure was there again to, to purify, amen. He offered it up, amen. He offered it up. The cup was holy. Amen. Now these days, a lot of people want to go, we, we use that, we use those little cups, individual cups, amen, when we do the Lord's Supper. You can't go forward to go up there and eat. I don't eat behind my wife, my children. I, know I don't drink behind them. Amen. I'm not going to eat or drink behind you or anybody else. No, I ain't. Amen. Because, you know, people are, 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 are filthy these days. They're, they're, they're nasty. They're, 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 they're pretenders. Amen. I don't want to pick up your spirit. I don't want to, hey, I don't, hey, I might have disease, I might have a cold or something like that. Amen. Right. Amen. And then you're going to drink behind me, you get a cold. You get this and stuff like that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Nobody. But see, God said, as often as we do these things, we do it in remembrance of Him. Amen. See, now if you want to get really technical about, you know, what cup size we you use, or how many cups, or how many cups you use, then you need to go ahead and get technical about your placements. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because, see, the people were not lining up or standing up to go up here and receive the Lord's Supper, the cup, or the breaking of the bread. You should have passed them around. Mm -hmm. And then they were what? All laying down on the different couches. I mean, if you just want to get technical, technical about it. But see, that's not doing it in the spirit of things. See, that's what God was talking about. You see, people want to do things uh, uh, in the law, but not in the spirit of holiness or in righteousness. Amen. See, we got to understand the reason and the purpose of why we are participating in the Lord's Supper. Amen. Or well, in the communion, some people like to call it. See. It's to remember the blood that you sure what is shedding for us. What? So for the forgiveness of our sin. Amen. Mm -hmm. For the forgiveness of our sin. Amen. We, we explain to people why we use water instead of wine. Or fruit from the uh, uh, grape. Amen. We use the water because when the soldier pierced his side, what? Blood and water came out. Amen. Some of you may still want to use wine. But that is, depends on how Yeshua leads you. Amen. We don't do the wine because what? Yeshua said he was not going to participate in the products of the grapes until what? His return. And so we said we'll just wait for his return. And I am. Amen. Now the important thing is that you do it. Whether you do it once a month, once a week, or once a year. But that when you do it, that you do it in remembrance of your sure. Amen. Don't get choked on whether you uh, you got one cup or not. Amen. If you, if, you, if you have the faith to go up there and drink out of one cup, then you do such. Amen. You do such. Amen. Pray for me that my faith would increase that we would do it in one cup. But I'm not going to do it in one cup. Amen. But you can pray for me. I'm not, I don't think it's a sin because you use one cup. I'm not gonna call you filthy because you use one cup, but that's but that's your prerogative. I want to get taken if I said keep the Sabbath. Okay. Now people, they they can argue about the cups that are used at the Lord's Supper, but people won't keep the seven day Sabbath. The seventh day Sabbath, which is sad, which falls on a Saturday. Oh, no, we keep him Sunday. We know what the word of God says. See? You swallow you swallowing the camel, but you're choking. You're swallowing the gnat, but you're choking. Yeah, yeah. You 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 you're swallowing the camel, but you're choking on the gnat. You're choking on the net. Arguing about these little things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Trying to prove a technical point, but missing the whole boat. Drowning on the Word of God. People, quit getting into arguments about the Word of God. Let's examine it because they examine the Word of God and come to what? A holy conclusion. 
of what's righteous and what's holy. Be led by the Spirit of God. See, people put too much importance on their self-righteousness. Not enough on God. See, we gotta look at all things through the perspective of God. What how does God see him? How does Yeshua see him? This is what's gonna count. Is how does Yeshua see him? It's not about how Norman Ghostin sees him. It's not about that. It's about how does Yeshua see him. Because by any time I go by what? Norman goes and says, I'm in the wrong already. Hallelujah. I'll be, I will be in the wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I got to go by what? How Yeshua sees it. How does God see it? How does he view it? Amen. Amen. Because see, I'm not the one that has a heaven or hell to place anyone in. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm striving to make it into the kingdom of God. What? For myself. Amen. Amen. I'm striving. Okay. And I got to make it in. I'm going to make it in right. through the power of God. Amen? So don't be up here, you know, losing your mind on these little, little bitty things. Just get into the Word of God. All the Word of God is important. And we got to do all of it righteously. We, we got to do it just as He says. That's Every right. word that comes out of His mouth, we got to do it just That's as He right. says. Amen. But we got to be a prayerful people, as he told us, amen, that we got to do things, we got to worship him in spirit amen. and in truth. Amen. amen. Spirit and in truth. Spirit amen. and in truth. Amen. Yes. And so we got to come to an understanding. So when we worship him in spirit and in truth, that we're doing it in spirit. Not just according to the letter. What did he mean in the spirit, spirit. of the word of God? Yes. Amen. Got to be done that way, people. Because the devil had me fighting over the little bitty thing. Unnecessary stuff. You know. Because that's what the devil does. That's what Satan does. He comes into what to cause what division. Confusion. Amen. Confusion. That's what he does. That's his job. Don't be fooled. Don't be tricked by Satan. Amen. Let us learn to keep our minds focused on the things that you sure is telling us to do. Thank you, Lord. It says, Woe to you hypocritical Torah teachers and Pharisees. You clean the outside of the cup and the dish, but inside they are full of robbery and self robbery, excuse me. They are full of robbery and self indulgence. Blind fish first clean the inside of the cup mm -hmm. so that the outside may be clean also. What are you talking about? See, we're, we're, we're so worried about appearing to be holy, mm -hmm. so worried about appearing to be righteous that we forget about cleaning the inside of ourselves. The, heart. the, the heart. heart. The heart. Amen. We, 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 we don't want to clean that heart. That's Amen. The main thing. And that's the main thing he's talking about that we're supposed to be cleaning. That's it. Amen. That's the we want to make sure that we look like we're holy. Uh -huh. We want to look like we're the righteous. Heart. But we yeah. don't want to walk in righteousness. Yeah. We don't want to live in righteousness. We don't the heart is not in righteousness. It's gotta be. But it's got to be there. Yes, sir. Amen. Our hearts got to be cleansed. Sure now. Amen. Amen. Because until the heart gets cleansed, then the outside is, 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 is filthy. Filthy. Amen. The cup is still filthy. In other words, our whole body is still filthy. Sin. Amen. Our soul is still filthy. Sin. Because, see, we still want to commit sin. We still want to commit adultery. We still want to lie. We still want to cheat. We still want to lust. That's what sin do. Sin will get you there. See, we got to strive to get the inside cleansed. Mm -hmm. Get our hearts right. 
We don't want to love. We want to go up here talking about, hey, I love you, sure, I love Jesus, but then we want to hate one another because of the color of the skin. Can't do that. Or because, oh, you you don't pray like we pray. You don't you don't sing like we sing. Mm. Oh, you don't teach about Yeshua the way I teach about it's Yeshua. All right, you know, uh, -uh. he says that that's wrong. He says, because we're one body. We're supposed to be all one body, people. One body, many members. Yes, sir. We're all supposed to be one body. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're supposed to all be keeping the seven days Shabbat. The seven days Sabbath. Amen. We're supposed to be doing that. We're supposed to be what? All filled with the Riyadh HaKadah, oh, the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. And we're all supposed to be what? A help one to another. Yeah. Loving what? One another. I can't go around here and say, uh, uh, I love you, and then, hey, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm talking uh, against you, amen. I'm coming against you I'm, uh, with viciousness, with hatred. You know. God says, you know, how can you say you love me, who you have not seen, and hate your brother, who you have seen? He said, you're a hypocrite then. That's the word. You know, we can't be hypocrites. Mm -hmm. I ain't. You see how many times that Yeshua has called the people to do what the Torah, he said, the Torah teaches and the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. You're a hypocrite. You're being a hypocrite. Preaching one thing and doing something else. Yeah. So we need to go about what examining ourselves. Do the word. Amen. See, we we see we we got this picture of what we think and what we consider as being holy, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean anything in God's eyes. Mm -hmm. The only thing that matters is what you should call holy. That's it. See. The thing that matters is what God says in His Holy Word, in His Torah. That's how we must what, live by according to God's perspective. We got to see everything through how He sees it. The eyes of God, yes, sir. See, if we look at it just by how we see it, then we're going to be what? We're going to be in deep trouble. We're going to end up in hell. Mm -hmm. In error. He says, Woe! To you hypocritical Torah teachers and Pharisees. You are like whitewashed tombs, which look fine on the outside, but inside are full of dead people's bones and all kinds of wretchedness. Likewise, you appear to people from the outside to be good and honest, but inwardly you are full of hypocrisy and far from Torah. See, that's the things we've been saying. You see, mm -hmm. on the outside, everybody looks good. You know, the Torah teachers and the apostles and the teachers, the pastors, amen, looking good. Amen. The Lord have mercy. But when you see the lifestyles Come on. that do not line up with the Word of God, the action, the, action, the hatred that's inside of them, God says, hey, you just fool. That, that's the dead people's bones. You're dead. Mm -hmm. Full of what? Rottenness. Sin. Amen. You got you. Hey, oh, oh, oh. I preach the word on the Sabbath. I preach and teach the word on, 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 on a Sunday. I appear to be holy. I appear to be righteous. But as soon as I get out of the synagogue, as soon as I get out of the house of God, I'm out there horning around. I'm out there fornicating. I'm out there committing adultery. I'm out there committing homosexuality. That's evil. That's wicked. That's not being a holy person. But on the outside, you look good. But behind, but behind closed doors, in the dark, you're doing all sorts of evil and, and wicked. You're a monster. You're a dove. You're a demon. Uh -uh. That's not of God. That's not of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. 
So we got to be the same at all times. We got to be holy time. at all times. Sure we got to be righteous at all times. Sure Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Lord. He says, that's why he was saying that, you know, people are far away from the Torah, far away from the what? The Word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you just call it how you can carry the Bible, preach and teach the Bible, but if you're not living it, you're yeah. far away from it. You're being a hypocrite. Oh, yeah. Amen. It says, Woe to you, hypocritical toward teachers and Pharisees. You build tombs for the prophets and decorate the graves of the Zadokim. And you say, the Zadokim are, are, are the righteous. Amen. Those are the people who are the righteous. Amen. 